So we're getting ready to start the action here. Bentley is going to be kicking off to start the match. Wayne State looking to win their eighth NSCRO National Championship in both 15s and 7s. As I mentioned earlier, they are the defending champions. They graduated 12 players from last year's National Championship winning side. And yet here they are back in the finals. Low kick. Dribbles around. Picked up by Turner McPhee. And Wayne State right to work. Both these teams very good about, about getting quick ball out of the ruck and just moving it. They pass really, really well, nice and sharp. It'll be interesting to see if one of the other teams can slow the other one down without committing a penalty like that. Wayne State takes it quickly. Wayne State starts quick too. It's you got to be ready to play because they just move that ball so quick. Ball carriers hit hit the gap at full speed, and even if they don't split the gap, they get good go forward every single time. Ornakey to Brook Hazing. A little side step there by Leanna Rosberg. Pick and go by Lindy Pingle. But Bentley has turned the ball over. They've got it now. They're going to look do the same thing Wake State's doing, and that's get quick ball. Go inside and outside. And we've got a great break here. She needs support. It's there. There it is, quick ball, boom. Big hit up there. Sky DeBoer, excuse me, that was Rachel Wolf. Gonna release to the backs. Good ball handling, good quick passes. Cuts back inside, does Kate Reynolds. And she's taken down. Bentley pass midfield now. This is Joanna Rodriguez. And we've got a penalty against Wayne State. They do challenge really hard in the ruck, but sometimes they commit penalties. It's about the only weakness to their game. And that's not even a weakness, you know, it's just a cat and mouse game. So the penalty by Wayne State allows Bentley to kick into touch just inside the 22. We are just two and a half minutes gone, and each team has already gotten in the green zone. So Bree Arnold to take this throw for Bentley. Taken cleanly, nice. Pass a little bit behind, slows down the momentum. Good run by Emma Santa Suazo. Good tackle in the open field. But look at that, recycling it quickly, boom, boom, boom. Good work, good quick work by Bentley there, keeping it clean. This is Rodriguez again. And there's support, there's the ruck, and boom. Gets a quick out to Rachel Wolf. Wayne State doing a good job controlling the game line here. Bentley seems to be going backwards a little bit. Now they're gonna come out this way. That's Cal Bache, sidestepping one. She gets some good go forward. Low pass, we're gonna have a delayed knock. Maybe it's just kicked. Scooped up by Kate Reynolds. And they're going to go back out the other way. This is Joanna Rodriguez. She had a great match yesterday. That's Jen Meals. Dee Tomasa does a great job as scrum half getting the ball out of there quick. This is Kate, Kate Reynolds. Bobbled by Taylor Coley, but she's she finds the handle. Good patient phases here by Bentley. This is Emma Santa Suazo, another strong run. Rachel Wolf, right up the gut. Pick and go by Doucette. Good action here from both teams. This is gonna be a battle. Oh, 
stall for a second by Bates, but she regains, regains it and gets it to McQuarrie. Rodriguez, good defense again by Wayne State. They respond to the pressure well. Don't miss pass there. Scooped up. McCrory tried to make a play. Good thing for Bentley. Wayne State committed another penalty in the breakdown. So Di Tommaso directing her troops. Taps it. Gets it quickly to DeBoer. Good strong run there. They didn't protect the ball carrier. And Wayne State's out the other way. They've created a turnover. That's McPhee. She found Leanna Rosberg, her fellow co-captain. And there's room out here on the edge, and they've got the wheels. Wisely cuts back inside where her support is. Ball squirts out. We're going to have a delayed knock-on call. This is Santa Suazo. She's taken down, and Bentley quickly there. Nope, oh, looping pass. That's not good. Bentley maintains possession. Jen Meals. Good work. Skip pass. Kate Reynolds finds Megan Faith. Apparently doing a great job maintaining possession, getting quick ball, but they're not able to move much against this stern Wayne State defense. It's about patience. Patience and execution. Oh, cross field kick. No one was expecting the chase is on. Miranda's chasing after it. But Brianna Real scoops it up, the fullback, and she's off the other way. Offloads before she's taken down. She found Shelby Brown. Shelby Brown. One woman to beat. Nice stiff arm. Says Brooke Hazing, finally taken down, and she's got support. Anna Fleeks finds Leanna Rosberg. And she's down for the five points. Captain Leanna Rosberg opens up the scoring for Wayne State with a try on the left side of the zone. Seven and a half minutes into the match, we have our first try. Leanna Rosberg, the senior from Wausau, Nebraska. Business manage management major. And this conversion will be attempted by Julia Baxter. Julia is a sophomore from Plattsmouth, Nebraska. And the kick is low. Looks like the ball a little wind blew it off the tee. So the conversion is no good. It remains 5-0 in favor of Wayne State. Well, Bentley was enjoying about seven minutes of possession there, patiently going through their phases, putting pressure on. And Wayne State capitalized on a turnover. And in the confusion, they were able to Exploit a gap and take it to the house. So kick is fielded by Turner McPhee. Good job by Nicole Bailey to stay in bounds. And we've got a penalty against Bentley. So Wayne State kicks for touch. They've got a they'll have a line out about six meters into the Bentley half. 30 minutes to go in the first half of the 2017 Innsboro Women's National Championship match. 
between Bentley College of Massachusetts and Wayne State College of Nebraska. Nice clean line out and take. This is where Wayne State is so good. Their ball movement, their passing is so crisp and clean. Great service always coming out from Leanna Rosberg where she starts it. That's Nicole Bailey, good strong run. Good ball movement again. Baxter had it for a second. They just move the ball so quick I can't keep up. Skip pass to Real. Real finds Phoenix. Svegel. Back to Real. Back to Svegel. Now they're coming back the other way. Look at that. Sideline to sideline with Chris passes. Nice open field tackle there by Christine Miranda of Bentley. But Wayne State recycles again. And now Anna Fleeks getting to her teammate. And we're held up. I think that was Courtney Forbes with it. So it's going to be a five meter scrum down to Wayne State, keeping up the pressure. 29 minutes to go in the first half. Rosberg sets it in. Good drive by Wayne State. Don't want to stay attached. All right, they're going to release it. Through the fly half in the backs, the centers. Loop around. Oh! I think we're going to have a knock on. Delay call. Looks like Bentley has it. And she's going to be taking a touch. I think we're going to come back to the knock on. We are. So, Bentley's going to survive the pressure by Wayne State. Looked like the pass was just a little bit, a little bit ahead of Neftali Fariska. Ball hits the deck for a knock on, and it's going to be a scrum down to Bentley, deep inside their own territory, looking to probably get a kick and relieve some pressure. And here's the clearance kick. Ah, Bentley relieves some pressure. All right, so it's going to be a Wayne State lineout just inside the 22. They're looking to take it quickly. Bentley gets there. Lindy Pingle to take the throw. She's a freshman criminal justice major from Des Moines, Iowa. Nice play, nice play by the Wayne State. Line up group. Here they are, they're moving it. This is Fagel. Loops back around to Alyssa Fisher. She's looking to find the zone. She's awfully close. And we've got a whistle. And Bentley is going to survive again. This time their clearance kick, they'll be able to get it back if it finds touch. But it does not. Phoenix fields it, finds Brown. Brown looking to find a back. Ball's on the deck, and Wayne State loses their momentum. But Rosberg, show and go. She gets some good go forward. Pick and go. Good fight in the ruck there by Bentley. They're keeping it clean. Sam Warnicky Found Fisher and tried to loop back around, but now Bentley has it again. Five zero is your score. 26 minutes to play in the first half of this national championship match. Bentley with it. Trying a big hit up through the middle. Wayne State looking to hold the carry up, but she goes down. Now they're going to release to the backs. Go 
Jen Meals. Now going to go out the other way. I believe that's Rachel Wolf. Strong run there, there by Di Tomasa. Actually, that was Christine Miranda. Makes sense. Di Tomaso would probably be pulling that out of the out of the ruck. Good fight in there. And looks like we're going to have a knock on by Wayne State. So Bentley's going to maintain possession. They'll have a scrum just outside their 22. 24 and a half minutes to go in the first half. Wayne State's got a 5-0 lead. This is the Ensgro Women's National Championship match. Nice clean scrum, good ball movement. Cut back inside by Kate Reynolds. Looking for support. Going short side. Strong run by DeBoer there. That was Ali Doucette. That was kind of messing there. They're looking for some space out on the edge. Strong run by Rachel Wolf. Boy, Wayne State's defense is just swarming. They're so fast. They're able to cover every gap. Bentley patient. Going short side again. Strong run. Now they're moving. Tries to cut through. Lexi McQuarrie. This is Rodriguez. Emma Santa Suaza with another strong run. They're staying short side, dancing near the touch line, far touch line. And we've got a whistle. Injury whistle. Looks like Jen Mills is shaking up on the play, but referee Cat Roach is going to speak to her AR. I didn't see anything in there. Just looks like she was just caught in the ruck. Well, now referee wants to speak to Wayne State captain. Jen Mills is a Sophomore from Weymouth, Massachusetts. She's studying accountancy. She's not playing rugby. You usually find her watching Netflix. All right, she's back up. Looks like she's going to continue. She's all right. Second day of rugby tournament is always so hard. You got to get over those aches and pains, knocks and bruises. Usually when the match starts, you forget about all that. All right, so I guess it was a penalty called against Wayne State. Bentley kick for touch. They're going to have a line out 10 meters short of halfway. And Bree Arnold will take this throw. Bree's a junior from Essex, Mass. She's studying marketing. Goes over everybody, but Bentley maintains control. Trying to get some quick ball out here. This is Christine Miranda. She's still on her feet. Good, strong run. She's got support right there. I think that was Skyler DeBoer that was there. And this is Rodriguez. She scored a couple tries yesterday in the semifinals. This pass. It's on the deck. Kicked forward. I think it was Sam Warnicky that, that kicked it forward. But it might have been Turner McPhee. They both have red hair and a ponytail, so it's 
Hard to tell this far away. All right, ball goes into touch. And it's going to be a Wayne State lineout about 12 meters into Bentley territory. And Bentley does well with that possession. They're, they're patient, they maintain it, they take care of the ball really well, committing a lot of people to the ruck, but they're also getting it out of there quickly. That's one of the things Wayne State does. They slow down other teams, and they're so quick themselves out of the ruck on offense. Case in point, here they go. And their passes are so good. Their bullets. Sam Warnicky sidesteps one. Stiff arms another. Needs some support. She's still on her feet. And she wisely goes down, and here comes the support. Grabbed by... Anna Fleeks, trying to go out the other way. Wendy Pingle. Rossberg trying to get it. Anna Fleeks again. Show and go. Still on her feet. Wayne State getting close again. We have reached the halfway point of the first half. Good strong run by Julia Baxter, and she's in for the try. Julia Baxter, a pick and go, heads up play. Doubles Wayne State's advantage to 10-0 with a conversion still to come. Julia's a sophomore from Plattsmouth, Nebraska, studying journalism. She enjoys listening to country music. She's also an avid reader. Try time, Wayne State, number 41, Julia. So Sam Warnicky is going to attempt to make this 12. There's 19 minutes to play in the first half. Sam. Had plenty of conversions yesterday, plenty of conversion attempts. And she made many of them, too. Good kick. And it's through. Nice conversion from a difficult angle by Sam Warnicky. Your score is Wayne State 12, Bentley 0. Under 19 minutes to play in the first half of this Ensgro National Championship. Perfect day for rugby. Got a great crowd. Both teams, family and supporters here cheering them on. So Bentley looking to get back into this match. High kick right down the middle. Wayne State's moving it so well. Looking for help. There's a good tackle. And it's poached. Oh, but Jim Mills couldn't come up with it. Wayne State maintains control. Anna Fleeks, the carrier, going short side. Kick by Warnicky, goes over everybody. Oh, but gets a good bounce, and Kate Reynolds is able to field it. She goes short side, run by some people, trying to stay in bounds. Plenty of support, good job. Darian Hubert, positive run. That was Taylor Coley with it. Might have been Cal Beach. This is McQuarrie. Finds her fellow center. Passes low. Smart play by Kate Reynolds to prevent the knock on. Just basically like did a soccer trap with her feet and then she picked it right up. DeBoer again. Short side. This is Rodriguez. Side steps one. She really moves well for a loose head prop. Nice move there. Santa Suazo. Great run. On the front foot now for Bentley. Hit up through DeBoer. And it looks like she banged knees with Alyssa Fisher. Out the other side. Inside pass to Reynolds. Recycling that ball quick is key to moving the ball. Bree Arnold. Left, left, left. 
Alley do set. Jen Meals with it now. And support is there. Boom, quick ball. This is Bache. Offloads to McQuarrie. Finds a little gap. They're inside the 22 now. That was DeBoer. This is Bache. She scored a couple tries yesterday in the semifinal match. This is Rodriguez. Nice running there. Good, strong ruck there by Wayne State. Pick and go by Bentley forward. Now looks like they're going to release it. Bates. And we've got a penalty for offsides against Wayne State. So this is Rachel Wolf. She takes it quickly, trying for the big hit up. She's still on her feet, getting awfully close now. And we've got a try for Bentley. Good forward work. It was a pick and go, just a grab and dot down. They were so close. Try time, Bentley's number one, Joanna Rodriguez. Joanna Rodriguez with a try. In the left-hand side of the zone. Score is 12 to five with 15 minutes to play in this first half. Joanna Rodriguez is a junior from Lawrence, Massachusetts. Business management major. Conversion attempt by Bates is short. So your score remains 12-5. Wayne State leading Bentley in the 2017 Ensgro Women's National Championship match. Coming to you live from the campus of Life University in suburban Atlanta. Temperature about 10 to 15 degrees above normal for this time of year in Georgia. I don't see any complaints from anybody. Perfect weather, mid-60s. Enough where you don't have to wear layers. You can wear short sleeves. You might even break a sweat. So Wayne State comes back up to the line. Good patient series there by Bentley. They have possession for a good seven, eight minutes. Went through the phases, boom, 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 and they were rewarded with a try. Keep that pressure up. It's difficult for a team to keep, keep you at bay for, for very long. So Warnicke kicks it deep right down the middle. Bounces once, twice, and it's going to be scooped up by Bentley. They're going to come short side. Rachel Wolf. Rodriguez, the try score. She's wrapped up by Alba Laredo. And she does great work in the clear out, but the ball was already out. Pass, hit the deck, but was corralled. This is Megan Fave with it on the far touch line. They're trying to take her in a touch, but she's still in. And they're going to come back this way. Ball's down. Nope. They still have it, taking good care of the ball. T. Tommaso out of there quickly. Through the centers. This is Miranda. Hands it backward to Bates, I believe. Quick ball again. There's room out here on the edge. Cuts back inside as Kate Reynolds. She's still on her feet. Good clear out there by Taylor Coley. She cleared out two Wayne State would-be ruckers. And nice counter ruck there by Alba Laredo, and Wayne State is in possession now. But she rolled over and gave the ball back to Bentley, so Bentley's on it now. Going short side. Santa Suazo had it, but it was ripped out of her hands. And we're coming back to an earlier knock on by Wayne State. So Bentley's going to have a scrum by this near touch line, about 13 meters into their own half. 
11 and a half minutes to play in the first half. Wayne State leads it 12 to 5. Di Tomasa sends it in. Referee blows a whistle. Scrum collapsed. So we're going to sit and try again. Libby Di Tomasa is a sophomore from Woonsocket, Rhode Island, studying finance. She likes running, reading, and dancing, not necessarily in that order. When she's not playing rugby, of course. Good crisp passes here, and of course, just as I say that, ball ends up on the deck, but Bentley's able to corral it. Go through the phases again. They're going to come back this way. Work through Bache. Now back to the forwards. These teams do that so well. They mix it up between their forwards and their backs, trying to keep the defense off balance. And the key, of course, is getting quick ball. Quick ball out of the rock. Quick ball's deadly ball. Strong run by Rachel Wolf. And, yep, Wayne State. Oh, I thought they counter rucked. I've got a whistle. Looks like we're going to have a scrum. And it'll be Bentley with it. Tomasa feeds it in. Good push by Wayne State. But Bentley maintains control. Trying to get through their centers. Hands it back. Back to the middle. Plenty of support there. Di Tomasa gets it out quickly. Big hit up through Alley Doucette, I believe. That's Rachel Wolf running through people on the far touch line. They're trying to get her into touch. Still in bounds. Nice tackle in the backfield by Wayne State. And looks like McQuarrie has shot a gap. This is Bates now. Short side through the forwards. This is Rodriguez. Eight minutes to play in the first half. Nope. But the ball's been poached by Wayne State in the ruck. They're coming the other way. This is dangerous. Sam Warnicky, she's got support. Phoenix Svogel. She's over the 22 for Wayne State. Now they're going to go quickly. Julia Baxter. Straight forward running. Turner McPhee. Wayne State knocking on the door. In the green zone again. This is Courtney Forbes. Quick ball again. Now they're going to release it. Nope. Drop pass by Brianna Reel. We're going to play on with the knock on because Bentley has it. And I think we're going to have a whistle when we come back to the knock on. We are. Seven and a half minutes to play. Your score is Wayne State 12, Bentley 5. This is the Enscrow Women's National Championship match. Got a stop to play, I think. Player for Wayne State was shaken up. Not badly. She's on her feet. She's just, there we go. She's all right. Good to see. I think it was Courtney Forbes. A little slow to get up. But she's ready to play again. Good scrum. Wayne State has stolen it. Here they come. Sam Warnicky finds support in the corner. Brooke Hazing dots it down. Five more for Wayne State.
So with six and a half minutes to play in the first half, Wayne State capitalizes. They reverse the scrum, and they had numbers in space out on the edge. Sam Warnicke offloads to Brooke Hazing, who dots it down in the corner. Brooke Hazing is a freshman from Arlington, Nebraska, studying respiratory therapy. One of her favorite pastimes is annoying Jesse. Not sure who that is, but I'm sure those at home do. So Julia Baxter's conversion attempt is short. So we are at 17-5 with five and a half minutes to play in the first half. Wayne State leading Bentley. Wayne State has not had a ton of possession, but boy, they've been real efficient when they've gotten it. Taking advantage of the counter. Bentley done a great job maintaining their discipline. Not getting whistled for many fouls. Trying to keep the pressure up, but the Wayne State defense is so tough, so tough to get through and get around. Back up to midfield, low kickoff. Fielded by Alba Laredo. She's tough to bring down. Great run there. Now trying to go out the other way. This is Lindy Pingle. Ball pops up to Courtney Forbes. And now the backs are open. Pass to Real is missed. And we're gonna have a we're gonna have a knock on. So with four and a half minutes to play in the first half. Bentley's going to have another scrum down. This one 10 meters into the Wayne State half. Last time they were in this half of the field, they were rewarded with a try in the corner. And we're going to reset. Good even scrum this time. Bentley did well there. Moving the ball well. Loop around. Bates with it. And didn't fool Brianna Real. Strong run there by Kate Reynolds. Short side. This is Santa Suaza. Side steps one. Can't be brought down. This is Taylor Coley. Moves back in toward her support. Quick ball again. Short side. This is Jen Meals. Good go forward. Now this is going to release it. Well, well, we're hitting through Rachel Wolf. That was, that was fly half to prop. But Wayne State has posted it in the ruck. They've got possession again. And looks like Bentley has stolen it right back. Santa Suazo trying to work her way around. Under three minutes to play in the first half. And on the wing is Cal Bache. Sorry, that's Lexi McQuarrie. This is Bache with it. And she finds Christine Miranda. Loop back around. Got some numbers out here. Good, wait for the offload. Taylor Coley trying to get down in. She's inside the 22. Great job by DeBoer. Keep that ball going. This is Doucette. Rodriguez. Nice tackle by Baxter from Wayne State. Bage with it. Di Tommaso. Looking to split the gap was McQuarrie. Nice pass. Nice inside pass. And Christine Miranda dots down for Bentley. Five more points, bringing the score to 17 to 10 with a minute and a half to play in the first half.
try. Christine Miranda, the junior from Clifton Park, New York. Majoring in corporate finance and accounting. So Miranda with the try. And Cal Bates attempting the conversion to bring Bentley within five just before halftime. We reached the one minute mark. Kick is up. And it is good, 17 to 12. We got ourselves a match. By number 10, Cal, making the score 12 17. Bates is a sophomore from Wayland, Massachusetts. She enjoys eating chocolate covered strawberries and going to Red Sox games. Sounds like, sounds like some nice hobbies. So we are about 30 seconds, according to the clock on the field. Of course, the referee has official time. And it looks like we are going to have We're going to have a substitution for Wayne State. Ali Lux. All right, so kickoff. This will likely be the last possession. Strong run by Rodriguez. And we've got a knock on. And that's going to end the half. So we are halfway through this 2017 Enscrow National Championship match. Wayne State leads Bentley 17 to 12. Uh, is Alyssa Fisher, the outside center for Wayne State that came off just before halftime. She was replaced by number 14, Allie Lux. Well, we're halfway there, and we've got a heck of a match. The third place match was also real exciting, went to double overtime. Ensker was formed in 2007 and has become a vital part in developing collegiate rugby in the United States. There are currently more than 240 men's teams and more than 120 women's teams participating in local unions and conferences. And Ensker teams represent nearly 40% of all colleges playing rugby in the United States. Ensker would like to thank USA Rugby for its support and recognition of Ensker as a partner organization providing national playoff structure and services for small colleges. Ensgro and USA Rugby are committed to the goal of bettering the collegiate rugby experience. Ensgro would also like to thank Rhino Rugby for supplying the game balls for today's games. The Rhino Vortex Elite is a professional quality game ball used by the British and Irish Lions and the Guinness Pro 12. Visit Rhino today at rhinorugby.com. And the Penn Mutual Life Insurance Company is proud to be the top sponsor of Enscrow and the Enscrow Championships. Learn how Penn Mutual can help you live life with confidence by visiting PennMutual.com slash rugby. Penn Mutual, your game plan for ensuring life. Once again, your score is Wayne State 17, Bentley 12. We're at halftime, the 2017 Enscrow Women's National Championship match. Back in a minute. Welcome back to the Campus of Life University. This is the Enscrow Women's National Championship match between Wayne State College out of Nebraska and Bentley College out of Massachusetts. we got a great match for you. Wayne State is leading things 17 to 12, looking to become back-to-back -back national champions and earn their eighth overall national championship in both 15s and 7s. Bentley won this championship seven years ago. They're looking to get back in the winner's circle and hoist that trophy. Second half promises to be just as exciting as the first. We've seen the first half, Bentley with a lot of patient possession, and they've been rewarded by, with two tries and a conversion. Wayne State hasn't had as much, but they're so dangerous when they create a turnover and they go the other way because they're so fast and their passing is so crisp and clean so getting ready to start the second half here we go Wayne State kicking off going from left to right 
wearing the gold, black, and white hoops. And Bentley wearing all black with blue and white trim. Fielded by Bentley. She's still on her feet. I think that was Jen Meals. Good, strong run. Both these teams work really well in the breakdown. The scrum halves just, they trail the play, and they get that ball out quick. Rugby fans know quick ball is deadly ball, and these teams both exploit it very well. Try to loop around with Bache. Bache and Miranda, but they were off mark, so they go back with a little bit, but they maintain possession. Ball's out. Wayne State's got it now. And here they come. Watch this. This could be dangerous. They've got numbers and space. Find Shelby Brown. But they couldn't keep it moving. And Bentley catches up to the play. That was Lindy Pingle carrying it there. And now they're going to come out this way. Rossberg. This is Brianna Real. She's still on her feet, looking for Naftali Faruska. And I think we're going to have a high tackle here. Yes, we are. Wayne takes it quickly. That's Leanna Rosberg. Nice heads-up play. She gets down to about the five-meter mark. Wayne State looking to add to their tally. Probably going to have some forward work here. And it looks like we've got a penalty. Not rolling away. Taken quickly by Rosberg again. Trying to move it, but the ball's sloppy pass in there. All right, they're going to have to reset. Well, now we've got a third penalty. I think we're going to have I think we're going to have a talking to by the referee. Referee Cat Roach talking to Bentley captain Emma Santa Suazo. And on the penalty, it looks like Wayne State is going to kick for points, looking to add to their lead and open up an eight-point lead. That's smart. First chance you get in the green zone, come away with some points. So Sam Warnicke is going to try to make the score 20 to 12. Just two and a half minutes gone in the second half. Warnicke puts it up and through. Right down the middle. Wayne State leads it now, 20 to 12. And they're going to get the ball back. And Wayne State adds the three points on the board. That was like a carbon copy of the first half, though. Bentley enjoying most of the possession. Man, all it takes is just one breakdown and, and one not protecting the ball carrier, getting good support. And Wayne State makes you pay. Ball caught. Alba Laredo with it. Nice strong run. She's so tough to bring down. And they're moving again. Julia Baxter with it. The race is on. Can they bring her down? They can't catch her. That's a prop outrunning a fullback and a winger. Julia Baxter, five more for Wayne State. Just like that. Recycled the ball twice, and Julia Baxter shot the gap. Boom, five points more, 25 to 12 in favor of Wayne State. This is what they do. They pour it on. All you have to do is just fall asleep for a short period of time, and they're going to make you pay every single time. Julia Baxter, I'm told she's powered by chocolate chip cookies. Well, they did their part there. So Sam Warnicke attempting another two-point conversion. And it's good. 27 to 12. A 15-point lead now. 
Wayne State looking to win back-to-back Ensgro Women's National Championships. They're in the driver's seat now. 35 minutes to play in the second half. They've opened up a 15-point lead. Bentley needs to be the next team to score. Cut this to a two-possession game. High kick. And we're going to have a knock on, but Bentley, Bentley has it, so we're playing on. Jen Meals with it. They're going to go short side. And we're going to come back to the knock on. Bentley will have a scrum down close to the uh, – about, about uh, five meters, about 27 meters out from the try line. Just outside the 22. Need to get back on the front foot. Slow down that high-tempo offense of Wayne State. Get back to what got them here. That's what they were doing in the first half. Good, patient possession. Take care of the ball. Good push by Wayne State. It looks like they've turned it. But pulled out of the back by Santa Suazo. She's still on her feet. Ooh. Oh, she's taking it a touch. She was fighting and fighting for more meters. And Wayne State was able to take her in a touch and earn the line out. Lindy Pingle to throw it in. Freshman from Des Moines. Sam Warnicke trying to do a clearance kick, but it went straight to Rachel Wolf. And Bentley's now back in business, operating just outside the 22 of Wayne State. Boy, Wayne State defense making their presence felt. Bentley maintains possession but they're having to work hard for it. Skyler DeBoer, Santa Suazo, sidesteps one. She's inside the 22. Di Tommaso gets quick ball to Bache. Bache to McQuarrie. McQuarrie to Miranda. Oh. Sam Warnicke was able to push her back. They stay short side now. Rodriguez trying to sidestep one. Boy, Wayne State defense came to play in the second half. There's Wolf. Nowhere to go. Jen Meals. She's trying to get something going. Good job. Quick ball. Bates with it. Stiff arms one. Good go forward. Here we go. Bentley in business now. Recycling quickly. McCoy to Miranda, Miranda to Reynolds. Cuts back inside. Good job. Rodriguez shoots a gap. Stiff arms one. Go! Oh, she is taking a touch just short of the try line. Great tackle by the Wayne State defense. Couldn't tell who that was. Came out of nowhere to send Rodriguez into touch. So Wayne State's going to have a line out deep in their own territory, looking to release some pressure perhaps with a clearance kick. If they can control this, probably get it quickly to Sam Warnicke or Leanna Rosberg to relieve some pressure. 31 minutes to play in the second half. Goes over everybody. This is dangerous. Oh, Jen Meals almost had it. Wayne State has it still. Oh. Bentley has stolen it. No, they haven't. Wayne State still has it. Clearance kick. Oh, some breathing room. Cat Reynolds. Oh. oh, scooped up by Megan Fave. Bentley back in business again, knocking on the door. Bree Arnold trying to get through some people. Rodriguez got her first move. 
Joanna Rodriguez, her first move is so great. Bache gets it to Meals. There's some space over here. Oh, sidestep by McQuarrie. And we've got a whistle. Oh, not releasing the ball. So, Wayne State is going to escape the pressure again. Looks like Leanna Rosberg is considering either a quick tap or kicking for touch. She's going to take quickly. Interesting choice. I guess they're confident in their defense. I mean, they should be. Oh, we've got a knock on. Well, I hear the Wayne State coach saying we should have kicked it out, should have kicked for touch. So Bentley inside the 22 with a center field scrum, looking to cut in two. Wayne State's lead, Wayne State's leading 27 to 12 with 29 minutes to go in the second half of the Inscro Women's National Championship match. Oh, great push. Great push by Wayne State, and they reversed it. Sam Warnicke is going to clear it with a kick. Good direction on that. Fielded by Kate Reynolds. She sidesteps one. Back in the green zone. Pick and go by DeBoer. Not much there. This is Bache. Nope, oh, she found an inside pass, Rachel Wolf. Good strong running. Oh, she's lost the handle, it's loose. <laughs> Referee speaking with her AR. See what the call is, ball was loose. First to touch it down. We're gonna have a five meter scrum. So ball was taken back into the end goal by Wayne State, so it's a five meter scrum to Bentley. Knocking on the door, plugging away, staying patient. There's still plenty of time left in this match, just 27 minutes. They're down by 15, but they can get back seven of it right here. Oh, we're going to have a delayed knock on. and eh, it's going to be whistled now. Oh, the connection between Bates and McQuarrie didn't happen. And Wayne State's got the opportunity to get out of here unscathed once again. McCory's a senior finance major from Canton, Massachusetts. She's a pop music fanatic. All right, so Wayne State sets it in. Sam Warnicke, nice clearance kick. She didn't have to rush it. Got some good distance on it and put it in a spot. And it finds touch. Bentley will be controlling this line out. Bree Arnold to take the throw. She's a junior from Essex, Massachusetts. Her favorite music is Christmas music. Well, it's a good time of year for that. So here's Santa Suazo churning those legs. She's still on her feet. When you say trying to rip the ball out of her hands, but she's too strong for that. This is Rodriguez dragging Brianna Real with her. And go out the other way. McQuarrie hands it back to Bache. Bache finds Santa Suazo. She's still on her feet looking for support. She found it. Couldn't tell who the ball carrier was. 
And we got a penalty against Wayne State. Taken quickly by Rachel Wolf. Oh, she's so close. Pick and go by Rodriguez. And she dots down. Joanna Rodriguez, five points more for Bentley. 27 17 with 24 and a half minutes to go. Conversion still to come by Bache, but it could be down to eight. The lead for Wayne State could be down to eight. Joanna's a big Yankees fan. She doesn't say that too often when she's in Boston, however. I wonder why. So Cal Bates with the conversion. It is good. 27-19. Bentley back in this. Just under 24 minutes to play in the second half. And they're going to get the ball back. Wayne State has been playing a lot of defense. We'll see how that factors in in the last 20 minutes. Deep kick, bounces a couple times. Bentley finally corrals it on the far touch line. Straight into contact, big hit up there. And quick ball out, going to do some forward work. I believe that was Darian Hubert, the ball carrier. Rachel Wolf. Oh, Wayne State has turned it over, watch out. Real with it. She goes down before she goes into touch. Farusco. Quick passes among the forwards. Now it's with the backs. This is Brooke Hazing. Wayne State in the 22 looking to add to their lead. Nice defense by Jen Meals. Oh, skip pass. I think we're going to have a knock on. We are. Sam Warnke looked like she was trying to do a skip pass. Actually, she was trying to avoid throwing an interception because the Bentley player was perfectly aligned going the other way. That could have been. That could have been costly. But just inside their 22, Bentley's going to have a scrum down. Looking to relieve some of this pressure. Get back on the front foot. Good push by Wayne State. Bentley still controls it. Bage is gonna do a clearance kick. Relieves a little bit of pressure. Wayne State will have a line out. Twenty one minutes to go in the second half. Is what it comes down to. Second day of a rugby tournament for the national championship. You got to dig deep. Nice clean take. Wayne State. As usual with great passing, and they're going to come out this way. Nicole Bailey. Short side, Sam Warnicke. To Anna Fleeks. Anna Fleeks finds Shelby Brown. Now going out. Brooke Hazing. And we're going to have a whistle. Oh, it's high tackle, what they were calling there. Anyway, Wayne State takes it quickly. Show will go a couple times for Leanna Rosberg. She's still on her feet.
Good patient phases here by Wayne State. They've been on defense for so long. Nice to be on offense for a change. Shelby Brown. Good fight in the breakdown. Wayne State looking to add to their total. They got numbers out there if they can hang on. Brianna Real, and she's going to dot down. 19 and a half minutes to play. And Wayne State opens up a 13 point lead. This conversion is critical. Brianna Real, the freshman from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, studying fashion merchandising. She's also into photography. Beautiful country up there in Wisconsin. I'm sure it's nice for these four teams that made it to the Final Four here, coming from colder climate to come down here. We're even surprised that it's 68 degrees. So key conversion here by Sam Warnicke. There's 18 and a half minutes to play. They've got a 13-point lead. 15 points would be fantastic for them. Require three scores by Bentley. A missed conversion and opens the door. Taking all her time. She puts it up and through. 15 point lead restored. She's got ice water in her veins. In the third place match, we had the kicker for a Gustavus Adolphus slot the conversion from a tough angle with no time left to send it into overtime. So here we are back to center. Under 18 minutes to play. Bentley looking to get back on the front foot. Low kick. Ball goes backwards. No, we are gonna have a we're gonna have a knock on. I think it was Alba Laredo couldn't handle that kick. It was spinning, it was low. Sometimes that's just Sometimes it's just luck. If it was a round ball, it'd be a lot easier. So center field scrum, about 13 meters into Wayne State territory. Bentley looking to get some back, but, oh, the ball squirted out. Never reached the channel. That was a great push by Wayne State, though. Bentley's going to have to buckle down here. That's a better push, but it still was controlled by Wayne State and Sam Warnicke with a territorial kick. Bounces a couple times. Falls to Kate Reynolds. She's looking for room. Strong run by Allie Doucette. Santa Suazo. Good passes. Miranda hit the hole hard. Positive meters now. Nice control of the gain line by Bentley. Need to stay patient. Stay true. Strong run by Darian Hubert. But she's lost the ball, and Wayne State's got it. They're looking to go out the other way. This could be dangerous. They got numbers in space. Cut back inside. Intercepted pass. But now we're gonna, yeah, we're coming back to a knock on. Couldn't tell if the Bentley player caught or not. Obviously she did not, but the referee was playing advantage because the knock on went straight to Julia Baxter. But we're coming back now. And we got a sub coming, we've got a sub coming in for Bentley. Number 19, Lydia Henderson. She's coming in on the back row, replacing Darian Hubert. Beverages. Last call. 
Lydia is a freshman, freshman from South Portland, Maine. She doesn't know what she's going to study yet, but some kind of business. Looks like we got a little water break here. I don't think anyone was expecting it to be this warm. Now it's not like South Florida hot, but you know, your second day, you got to stay hydrated. So time is off, 15.06 to play in this national championship match. Wayne State is leading 34 to 19 over Bentley College. These two teams are no strangers to success. Bentley were the Enscrow National Champions in 2010. Wayne State has won a combination of 15s and 7s Enscrow Championships. They've won seven to be exact. This will be their eighth, including their second in a row in 15s. So after the knock on, we're going to have a scrum down to Wayne State. Time is back on. We are under 15 minutes to play. Good scrum. Wayne State's got some space. Hitting the gaps nice. Good fight in the breakdown by Bentley. Wayne State was too good. It's Brooke Hazing. Brooke was able to find Shelby Brown. Shelby found Leanna Rosberg. Rosberg found Anna Fleeks. And now Wayne State is inside the 22. Lindy Pingle, pick and go, picks up a few more meters. Wayne State, good ball handling. As always, Courtney Forbes with it. Now they're going to release their back. Sam fakes one, steps inside, looking for help. She finds Julia Baxter. Now looks like they're going to release it to the backs. Brianna Real with it, sidesteps one, taken into contact. Now we're going to come back this way and work through the forwards. Alba Laredo fighting for more. Great work here, patient work. Under 14 minutes to play. Shooting the gap is Leanna Rosberg. Five more points for Wayne State. Making it 41 to, uh, excuse me, 39 to 19. 13 minutes to play. Oh, that was great patient phases, great work. Mix it up between the forwards and the backs like Wayne State has been doing all season long. Despite graduating all those seniors from last year's championship side, they challenged themselves this fall. They decided they want to take on the best competition they could find. They took on all these Division I Big 12 schools in addition to their regular conference play. They are 16-0 to this point, looking to make it 17-0 and cap another undefeated season. Leanna Rosberg, the senior captain. Just about puts it out of reach. And the conversion hits the right upright. Sam is not happy about that. She made good contact. Looks like her aim was just a little bit off. But she's ticked. That's her, you know, she's has her own mark of excellence. So it's a 20-point lead for Wayne State with 12 minutes to play in the national championship match. That might have taken the wind out of Bentley's sails. They're going to need to get on the front foot and do it quick if they want to get back in this match and give themselves a chance. Three converted tries, and they could win this thing, but it starts right now. Low kick. Bounces. Fielded cleanly by Wayne State. That was key. Courtney Forbes, good strong run. Julia Baxter with it now. 
Nice, good go forward. Good fight in the ruck. And they're getting out of there. Warnicky finds Real. And she's got help. Faruska puts it back inside to Brianna Real. Good stiff arm. Donald Ball is almost stolen in the air. Wayne State maintains possession. Trying to starve Bentley of possession while the clock ticks away. Under 11 minutes now. Lindy Pingle, another strong run. Shelby Brown. Leanna Rosberg with it. Oh, sorry, that's Turner McPhee. Now they're going to go out the other way. Oh, clearance kicked by Sam. Warnicky goes past everybody. So Bentley's going to get it back, but they've lost a lot of territory. Kate Reynolds turns around, tries to do a territorial kick. The chase is on, but now we're going to have a whistle. We are going to have a penalty against Bentley. I assume it's offsides. I wonder if she was ahead of the kick and tried to chase. Under 10 minutes to play. Wayne State leading 39-19 over Bentley. This is the Ensgro Women's National Championship match. So interesting play here. I think that was a training ground play. Something they've probably been practicing, working on. Didn't really fool anybody, but hey, got to try it, right? Brianna Real looking for help. Brooke Hazing is with her. Neftali Faruska. Ball's on the deck, close to touch. Oh, and she was taken in touch. Good heads up play by Lexi McQuarrie of Bentley to send Sam Warnicky into touch. I'm sorry, that was. Phoenix, Phoenix Spagel. So nine minutes to play. Bentley with the line out. Bree Arnold looking for her target. Stolen by Wayne State. Show and go by Leanna Rosberg. She's inside the 22 again. Ooh, she was left unprotected for a second there. And, yep. Cause Wayne State to commit a penalty in the breakdown. So Bentley's going to get it back, but time is ticking away. Eight and a half minutes to go. Down by 20. They will kick for touch. It might not find the touch line. It does not. Fielded by Faruska, and she's going left. Good open field tackle. And the ball's on the deck. They've counter rucked, and Bentley's got it now. But the gap was, was plugged. And Jen Meals, she runs through the line, looking for support. Rachel Wolf, good strong run. Bree Arnold, good forward work, trying to suck more defenders in. Now they're going to release. Shooting the gap, trying to is McQuarrie. She's still on her feet. She finds Bache. Side steps one. Good stuff here from Bentley. Seven and a half minutes to play. Good phases, and the pressure is too much. Wayne State not rolling away. Seven and a half minutes to play. Bentley should take it quick. Referee has not stopped time, but they were waiting for the injured player. All right, so here comes Rodriguez. She's inside the 22. Bentley knocking on the door. Santa Suazo finds Jen Meals. She's dragging people with her. Bentley getting close here. Bree Arnold. Sorry, that's Rachel Wolf. Santa Suazo. She's looking to dot down. She there? Nope, just short. And they're in for the try. It was a pick and go. Was that Ali Doucette that scored that? Yeah. 
Libby Di Tommaso scores the try. The scrum have to uh, pick and go after Emma Santa Suazo got just right to the line. So the conversion is up and good. It is 39-26 with six minutes to play. There's still time. Bentley can get two more converted tries. It's the only thing that will help them at this point. With time ticking away, Wayne State taking their time, coming up to midfield. They want to milk every ounce of clock. Woo, this is an exciting national championship match. Wayne State looking to defend their national championship. Bentley looking to get back in the winner's circle for the first time in seven years. Time is ticking away. Just about five minutes left now. Bentley's going to get it back. Not feel it clean, but it goes backwards. Santa Suazo with it. She takes it hard into contact. Short side. Big hit up there. And Wayne State has turned it over with a great counter ruck. We're going to put this thing away. Finds real. Real to Feruska. She needs to move back in, wait for her support. Good ruck there by Brianna Real. A one woman ruck. She finds Julia Baxter. Wayne State inside the 22 again. Says Lindy Pingle. Tough to bring down. And they're milking the clock too. Out to the backs. They got a four on two out there. Cutting inside is Brooke Hazing. And she's going to find the try zone in the corner. That'll do it. Just about four minutes left to play. And Wayne State out to a commanding, insurmountable 44-26 to lead. Sam Warnicke is going to take her time. Checking into the game for Bentley will be number 21, but there's no 21 on my roster. So as the seconds tick away, we are under three and a half minutes. Wayne State with a 44 to 26 lead over Bentley. Conversion attempt by Julia Baxter. Is good from a very difficult angle. 46 26. Back to a 20 point lead. And the conversion is good by Wayne State number 41, Julia, making the score 46 26. So, two and a half minutes to play. Bentley, they're going to play hard. Try to get in the try zone one more time. Go, oh, intercepted. Christina Miranda thought she was off sides. She finds her fellow center, McQuarrie. This is Rodriguez now. She's tough to bring down. Firmly inside the 22 now. Short side to Taylor Coley, and Wayne State takes her into touch with two minutes to play. 46-26, Wayne State. So Lindy Pingle to take this line out, taken cleanly. Probably have a clearance kick here at some point. We do. Bounces once, twice. Oh! Misjudged by Kate Reynolds. She's on it now. She's trying to go out the other way. Looking for support. Megan Fave. Careful not to knock it on. She maintains possession. P 
pick and go there. Jen Meals. Page with it. Straight into contact. We're at one minute to play. Good passing, good ball movement. Here comes Bentley. Taylor Coley taking it. Nope, she stays in bounds. Lexi McQuarrie finds Kate Reynolds. They're still moving. 30 seconds to play. Lydia Henderson with it. Now we're coming short side through Joanna Rodriguez. Plugging away, Rachel Wolf. There's no quit in this Bentley side. Crossfield kick. The chase is on. Can Megan Fave get there in time? She did not, but Christine Miranda has it. Oh, ball's loose. Oh, we're going to have a knock on. Oh. The clock on the field has reached all zeros. Wayne State ahead 46-26. Probably going to have one more play before the final whistle. It's going to be a scrum down to Wayne State. They'll likely control it and kick into touch and claim the title. Controlled. Kicked into touch by Sam Warnicke. And that's it. That's the final whistle. Wayne State College wins their back-to-back Enscrow -back Women's National Championship. Let the celebration begin. Credit to Bentley. They never gave up. They kept fighting to that final whistle. Great to see them. Really like what they do on offense. A few of the breaks went Wayne State's way. They capitalize on some turnovers. And they take home the trophy. That's going to do it. Wayne State beats Bentley 46-26 to to win the 2017 Ensgro Women's National Championship. Correct. Congratulations to both teams on a great match and a fair result. I want to thank our sponsors once again. Rhino Rugby is proud to be an official sponsor and partner of Enscro. Visit rhinorugby.com today for all your rugby equipment needs. Enscro would like to thank USA Rugby for its support and recognition of Enscro as a partner organization, providing a national playoff structure and services for small colleges. Enscro and USA Rugby are committed to the goal of bettering the collegiate rugby experience. And to Penn Mutual, they are proud to be a top sponsor of the Enscro and the Enscro championships. Learn how Penn Mutual can help you live life with confidence by visiting PennMutual.com slash rugby. Penn Mutual, your game plan for ensuring life. For all the latest Enscro news, be sure to visit our website at Enscro.org. That includes the playback of these matches that we've been webcasting to you this weekend. Special thanks to Life University for Hosting, hosting this weekend. Their facilities are fantastic, and their women's rugby program headed by Rosalind Chow made sure all the players, the fans, and staff were well taken care of all weekend long. Thanks to my cameraman Jesse for his fine work and to Brent Shivers for facilitating this championship. Another great Enscrow Women's National Championship in the books. Wayne State are your champions. So long from Atlanta. Thanks for joining us, folks. <laughs>